I'm back. Hey guys, if you're watching this and you've probably seen my previous video on the Rubik's Cube solving AI, today we're gonna be pushing my AI to its limits and also replying to some comments and stuff. It's really gonna be a mess of a video as per usual. So I had a lot of comments on my previous video claiming that they can solve a cube faster than my AI can and thinking they were hot shit because of it. And I don't mean to be patronizing and I know it's just a harmless comment, but let's rip it to shreds. I like that I can solve a cube faster than your technology bullshit can. There were two big mistakes in this comment. The first was challenging a computer to a feat of speed. There are three things you don't fuck with when it comes to speed. My boy Sonic, me when I hear an ice cream truck, and computers. Sure, you might have beaten my AI at the speed it was going in my last video, but if you think that's as fast as you can go, then you are as stupid as you look, Stephen. The second big mistake was pissing me off. You mess with the CB, you get the antenna. Let's give you the benefit of the doubt, Stephen, and assume you are the fastest Rubik's Cuba in the world. And this is you. Holy shit, that was, that was actually pretty impressive. Impressively bad. Got him. What, that took you 4.22 seconds to solve? Are you kidding me? Mate, I've had relationships faster than that. I'm, I'm kidding, that's ridiculous. I've, I've never had any relationships. The point is you're slow as shit. So our time to beat is 4.22 seconds. Let's see how fast my AI can solve a three by three. Previously, I had to slow it down so that your puny human brains can follow what's going on. But now the gloves are off. I ain't pulling any punches, Steven. So let's do this. All right, ready, go. Boom, hell yeah. What's our time? 4.109 seconds. Oh, get wrecked, Steven. You can't touch this. Uh, to be honest, I was expecting it to be a little faster. It, it still took a few seconds to solve a cube. Oh, did I forget to mention? Silly me. My AI didn't just solve one cube. That would be way too easy. You just watched my AI solve 10,641 cubes in 4.21 seconds. That's on average 0.386 milliseconds or 0.000. .000 386 seconds per cube. Um, yeah, so Stephen, I'm awaiting on your video reply with your solve of less than 0 0.000386 seconds. Uh, you can send it to my email, which is getfuckingwrecked at gmail.com. Anyway, it's solve some bigger cubes in record-breaking times. Next up is a 5x5 cube, and the human record is 37.28 seconds. Ready, go, and done. <laughs> that was 0 0.047 seconds. Hell yeah. Next up is the 7x7 cube. The human world record is 1 minute 47 seconds. Ready, go and done. <laughs> that was 0 0.071 seconds. You get the point. My AI is pretty quick. It's certainly not the most efficient solver, but it is really quick. Yeah, so you can probably see why I slowed it down. It's not the most interesting thing ever when it instantly solves it. That's probably enough. It's probably time we stop bullying this random guy. And now let's move on to some larger cube. So this is a standard 3x3. Three three. Here is the 15x15 15 15 I solved in my previous video. And here's the 25 by 25 I solved in my previous video. And this is the big puppy that we did last time. A whopping 55 by 55 cube. But today, we're going to be dwarfing this guy with a massive 100 by 100 Rubik's Cube. And before somebody pauses the video and counts to check whether or not this cube is actually a 100 by 100 cube, I have a confession to make. It's actually 101 by 101 cube. But 100 by 100 sounds better and who the fuck actually cares?
Okay, I think that's all for this video. I was gonna do another project this week, but I didn't have much time because I'm currently in the process of moving. And well, you should try filling out an employment form when you're a YouTuber, it's a fun time. Anyway, I have posted the source code in the description because some people were pointing out the hypocrisy when I was giving this guy a hard time for not pointing out the source code when I didn't either, which is a fair point, that's my bad. Uh, there isn't any sinister reason for me not posting the code, it's just really gross spaghetti code without any comments because I really didn't expect this project to be this big or difficult. So yeah, you can check it out yourself, play with some of these values, don't do even cubes, that won't work, don't do cubes too big, that'll fuck your computer. Very nice. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next Saturday with another video, probably.